The moment Matteo Manassero stepped onto the golfing scene, it was clear he was not your average teenager. Armed with a calmness beyond his years and an all-round game to match, the young Italian enjoyed a successful amateur career and as a result didn't have to wait long before turning pro. Winner of the silver medal, Matteo Manassero. The youngest winner ever on the European Tour and surely a new star is born. Four wins in four years have seen Matteo rise to the pinnacle of the European game, all by the tender age of 20. Not only is he the youngest player to win on the European Tour, he's now the youngest player in the world to win four professional tournaments following his dramatic playoff win at this year's PGA Championship. It's such a big step forward when you can, when you can win such a big event. So. Uh, that's definitely something that has, uh, has helped my, my confidence, and help, has helped my game and uh, you know, that, I, that I'm so proud of. So that, one, uh, that, that win certainly has changed my, my, my season and, and my career. He played very good at the start of the season. He won the, obviously the PGA and after that uh, obviously a little bit more pressure than uh, normal because um, when you get in the top 30 in the world, uh, you start playing uh, with the big players and uh, his game went a little bit down, but uh, that's why he took a three week off. So hopefully we can get back from here now to, have a, to finish the race to Dubai and to start the race to the Ryder Cup. Much of Matteo's success can be credited to his coach and mentor, Alberto Benaghi. The pair joined forces in 2005 when Matteo was just 12, and their close relationship has given Matteo's career a true sense of guidance. He's an important figure for, of my life, for sure. I know him since like eight years, something like this, and uh, has, uh, has helped me so much in so many things. You know, life-wise, golf-wise, is uh, is a very important person for me. Matteo is very fortunate to have Alberto behind him. He works incredibly hard, and he knows uh, Matteo's swing inside out. He knows his whole game so well, and if anything starts to fall down. Alberto certainly knows how to bring it back up again. I've always been with him since he was 13. I caddy for him, so I mean we are good friends and uh, we enjoy life even when uh, outside the golf. The golf, of course, in the golf we have tough, tough times. Sometimes we have arguments because that's the way he should be. Because sometimes he's, he's, he's not an easy player to teach anyway because uh, he wants to know everything and he wants to be perfect every time. But um, he likes to have some friends uh, around, and uh, I think even the physio is always is almost uh, always driving with us, and I think it's important. Even if it's a, it's a big investment, but I think it's a good investment for his body, for his future, because uh, he needs to be 100%. On tee from Corona, Italy, Matteo Manasello. 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 When Matteo was 16, uh, he was uh, a very good player. Obviously, his body was a little bit uh, overweight. But when somebody's perf performing so well, you don't want to change uh, too much, especially when he's 16, that he needs to go and eat ice cream. He needs to enjoy his life. So after last year, we say, OK, I think this, this, this is the period in which you will have the biggest uh, break, because he never had four weeks in a row since he was 16. So now we have four weeks. We have to try to go, to run, to eat a better food and to see what happens. If you feel that you can do it, it's okay. It shouldn't be something that I have to force him or we have to force him to do it. But he likes it and um, that's it. I mean, it's, he lost a lot of weight and now he's getting back. He's, he's putting some muscle on that. Hopefully he will have to eat longer. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's going to be 30 hours longer because he's uh, in a better shape. But uh, as I said before, it's something that is going to be better for his career. Seeing myself in the mirror and, and, and thinking of, of the work I've done in the gym and uh, physically how much I've improved, I, you know, I think ahead and I, and I say it, I'm, not, I'm never going to improve as much as I did because it was drastic what I did uh, from, from last year to this year, but I know I can put some more, some more work in and uh, I can become, as we were saying before, a be an even better athlete. 2013 has provided plenty more reasons why Manasero can rise to the very top of the game. He currently sits fifth on the race to Dubai standings, meaning he will be part of the European Tour's final series. That should secure vital Ryder Cup qualifying points and potentially lead to a match-up against US captain Tom Watson. 
I mean, with my experience of the Ryder Cup, it can be it can be a good and it can be a bad thing because it can kind of take your your focus off. It puts too much pressure on them. But I do feel that uh, Matteo is mature enough to just to play and play hard as he normally does without getting too carried away with Ryder Cup itis, as they call it. You know. But uh, I do think he's mature enough to not get too swept away down that side of things. Yeah. Every time you watch TV from since you were kids, you watch the Masters, the British Open, the Ryder Cup. So your dream is that one. Obviously, the Ryder Cup is a is a big dream because it's a team event. So it's a team spirit. Uh, he played many team events before, like a Junior Ryder Cup or European Championship. So obviously, the Ryder Cup is I think is a goal for everybody here in Europe and. Uh, and I'm happy that he feel uh, the Ryder Cup so strongly and uh, all the European players feel like it is, that that's probably why they, they perform so well when they, they play against USA. We're, uh, we're definitely thinking about it and uh, it's a goal. Uh, it's something that I would love to achieve. Uh, uh, for sure it's going to stress me a little more than normal here, but I'm, I'm not obsessed by it. Um, we'll see if it's going to happen. There is so much competition and a uh, shot can make a difference many, many times. And um, for how many rounds, how many shots and, and tournaments we play, uh, that makes it you know, really, really hard and, and, and tiring. So it's going to be a long season from now on, from now to, to next September. But uh, I'm certainly putting all the effort into it. Manicero's four professional victories have come at four very different venues around the world and raised his profile. But why do those closest to him believe he is now one of the most exciting players to watch in world golf? I think it's because he's so good in every department. You know, most golfers, they have a, an Achilles heel somewhere, but, uh, but uh, Matteo's very, very strong. And then in some areas, he's really strong. His bunker play is absolutely sensational. Well, I'll tell you what. You know a thing or two about bunker play, but the last two have been exceptional. Oh, do you? I think it's those green trousers. Uh, I haven't seen a better bunker player yet. And um, good short game, good putter, extremely uh, accurate with his irons. That, uh, probably that's his next most... Uh, um, Impressive part of his of his whole game is his iron play. It's uh, very accurate, and uh, um, he just flights the ball so well. So it makes it my job easier because he's, he, he is actually very easy to cut to to club, you know. So it makes my my job very easy in that respect. Well, <laughs> if somebody says to me a, a 20 year old with immense talent, and he's you know I mean he's a pretty you know, handsome looking guy, you know, he's got the world at his feet. Normally an ego goes along with that, but he's got none. He really is genuinely a very, very polite, courteous person. And I'm, I'm impressed with that now, you know, normally, as I say, there'd be some little aspect of ego there, but uh, he's surprisingly got uh, none. <laughs> Unassuming and good natured. Despite such early success, Matteo remains as level as he was when he entered the professional game. We're all trying uh, to to get the best out of my game, but uh, out of my life in general. You know, it's a, it's a really nice life, but you've got to make it more simple. Having uh, having great people around you, and uh, you know, I was I was lucky uh, when I found to find the right people, and uh, I, I really want to keep going with with these guys because they they help me. I know perfectly that they want my best, and. Uh, that's the way to go, really. So if, if I'm passing through, through a rough moment, they need to go through it as well, and, and they need to care about it to, to then, uh, with me, put a lot of effort uh, and a lot of extra work to, to get me out of that. So uh, it's, it's, it's all a teamwork for sure, and uh, we're, all, we're all kind of a big family. With a strong support network and a game that keeps on improving, Matteo could go on to become the first major winner from continental Europe since Jose Maria Olathabal won the Masters in 1999. Strong billing perhaps for the 20-year-old, but with his taste for breaking records, we should expect plenty more from Matteo.